Hey guys, what's up? So, I thought I'd show you my method for cleaning linear bearings. Um, this is actually my X carriage and one of my printers. And I'm actually taking the, the bearings and I'm reusing them for my uh, laser cutter. And I've already done this method already with my laser cutter. Um, and it actually works pretty good. But uh, I used to use actually uh, lithium grease, like you see here, this Lucas lithium grease. But it's actually, it's super messy. I mean, if you take a look at that. So, um, I thought I'd give a, a, a trifle of a shot here. I've used a trifle of stuff for many years on uh, different things. And I really like it. Uh, so I thought I'd give the grease a try. Um, like I said, I just don't like how white, it just, it, it's really ugly. So, um, but it's actually nice thin grease. So I need to take these bearings out and. All right, so it's very messy. That's one thing I, man, it's so hard to get off your hands with lithium grease. <laughs> Stuff really sticks. So let me show you my, uh, what I got up going right here. So, all right, so I'm gonna throw my bearings in my ultrasonic cleaner and I'm running uh, diesel fuel. Uh, diesel and gas are great solvents. Um, I normally use diesel just because it's not as volatile and you are gonna be under heat. And when the ultrasonic cleaner is running, it generates vapors. So make sure you're doing this in a well ventilated area, but. Um, this method actually works awesome to get the lithium grease out there and get this all clean. So I'm going to let this thing heat up and uh, I'm going to let it up to about 50 degrees Celsius. And also, when this thing is running, it will actually generate heat. You'll see the temperature going up as it runs. So I'm going to do this for, uh, I'm going to probably do this for about an hour. Two, two 30 minute sessions. And this method actually works awesome. I've done it a few times already. so. I've already uh, cleaned out your brains with this uh, diesel, so it's uh, not as clean, it's not fresh. But as you can see, it's just coming right off of it. Right, I'm gonna sit there for, cool off for about an hour or so. All right, so these things have cooled off, and I want to show you, there's a row of bearings in there. Hopefully you can get that in the frame. I'm not sure if you can even see that, but I'm trying to get in the light so you can see it. There's a, a circular thing of bearings in there that spin around this way. And what I do is I hit it with the compressor. So, two bearings clean and ready to regrease. Right, so now I'm going to pack this bearing real fast. That's that trifle synthetic grease. Let's put a little bit in there. And actually, I saw this on another video, another YouTube video. I'm going to put this in like that. Make sure you're in the frame there. And then I'm going to pack it from the other side. I'm going to keep on doing that. Put some more in there. I just want to get that grease into the races. That should be good enough right there. Then I'm going to bring it back out. There we go. I can hardly even hear it. I also do the same thing with my rod. I just kind of slightly go down. This this grease is a little bit thick, but I can maybe cut it down and bring it down with a little bit of this. So make it a small little bowl. And add a little of that to it and thin it out a little bit, but... Alright. That's it. Alright, nice and greased. It's nice to get the rods too, just to prevent rust. I mean, I live down here at the beach, so you'd be surprised how fast these little black screws get rusted. 
If I don't oil the screws, I get rust in two seconds. All right, that's it. So all you need is an ultrasonic cleaner. Put a link where you can get one. It's pretty cheap. Amazon, 30 or 40 bucks. But awesome.